we are going to edit this photo here. Um, so this is the raw file. Um, you can take a look over here. I shot it at um, ISO 100 with my 85 lens at 2.8 and it was 1 over 1000 um, for the shutter speed because it was super bright. This was probably about a little over an hour before sunset. Um, so this was at the very beginning of the session. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is come over here and add the preset unblemished one um, and then I'm going to start editing. So it's definitely too cool so I'm going to warm it up. I'm going to bring it probably in the 7000s um, and then I'm going to add a little of the magenta. Okay. So I did underexpose a tad, as you can tell, because um, I wanted to be able to bring back some of the sky. Um, so I'm just keeping that in mind as I edit. I'm going to keep it with a double screen so you can kind of see. Um, so I'm going to take this down just a little bit more because I want to be able to bring back some of the sky. So if you could see how the sky is coming back some. Okay, so I'm going to take this down just a tad. I'm going to leave contrast the way it is. Um, I'm just going to bring down the whites just a little bit and the highlights. Um, I like to bring up the shadows a little bit more and I'm going to leave the blacks the way they are. Um, for this one I'm going to add a little bit of texture, just a little bit. Um, bring back that clarity and since the Sun was so bright it causes a little bit of haze so I do like to do the dehaze just a tad um, you can tell it kind of brings back a little bit more of the Christmas and I like color in my photos um, I like the vibrance so I'm gonna bring up this vibrance and then the saturation so now we've got kind of the base. I'm going to come down here and do the little minor adjustments here. Um, I do add noise reduction. I'm going to click on these for the lens correction. I don't add a vignette. Um, and of course the grain's out on this preset, so that's great. Okay, so this is kind of like the base that we're starting with. Um, that we did our little minor adjustments. This is what we started with in the raw file. So this is what we've gotten so far. Um, I'm going to first add in my sky. So to add in the sky, I'm going to do two gradient filters. So I'm going to bring it from the top of the screen down and then I'm going to click on this and I'm going to do a darken um, and then just darken it to where you feel that looks natural. And then I also like to add the blue in. Okay, so I'll do that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, it's a little bit. You want it to still look natural. Now, this is where the sun was located. So I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to add in a sun flare using the radial filter here. I created a little sun flare. Um, it's pretty much just some warmth. Raise the shadows, raise the black and then a little bit of this yellow color. Um, nothing fancy, so I'm just gonna put in one here. So you can see that kind of added the sun back. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit more kind of here. So it's kind of like on her. Okay, so now you can tell we brought the sky back. We add the sun. Um, now we need to make her pop, okay? So we're gonna add another radial filter on her. So I'm just going to bring this down and then I'm going to change this to lighten. So she's just kind of dull still. So we're going to change this a little bit. So I did choose the lighten. So we lightened her up a little bit. Um, not going to add any contrast. I am going to bring up the highlights a little bit. So this will kind of bring her um, a little bit more pop. 
and then also shadows. So if you see if I take the shadows up and down, you can see she's darker and then she gets a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm going to bring that to about the 40s. And then the whites will also help her pop a little bit more. I do like to bring a little bit of texture into the subject. Um, I feel like it adds just a little bit more crispness. Um, and her dress was just a beautiful red. So I'm going to add a little bit more color to that so you can see how that helped. Um, so we added the three radial filters so you can see um, what we started with, where we're at. Um, and to finish up this picture, I'm just going to add two more gradient filters on the bottom. Um, so I'm going to do a darken. And I'm just going to take this up just a tad on the bottom and I'm just going to darken this up a little bit just to kind of bring more of the focus to her um, and then I'm also going to bring one on this edge here but for this one I am going to make it a little bit more warm kind of like the sun's coming down a little bit more warmth um, add a little bit more haze to make it more hazy I just take the blacks up a little bit um, alright so I'm going to press done on that so this is just a quick edit here you can see the before, the after um, any other things that I might do would be zoom in here and probably edit out this little hair strand here just do some cloning um, and smooth out her skin. But other than that, this photo um, went from dull and drab to vibrant. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. All right, bye.